Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Welcome to Vitamin Amber. If you are returning, thank you so much for watching. So today we are going to talk juicers. So a question that I have been getting a lot is what kind of juicer I would recommend. Um, so a quick answer to that question is go do your research and find the right juicer for you. Now, how to find the right juicer? That I can help you with, okay? So, you done? Know what you are looking for. If you are a beginner and you are on a budget and you don't know if you're gonna be juicing once a week, once a month, if you just want to try it and then this might not be for you and then you might just toss it to the side or give it to the goodwill definitely do not spend an obnoxious amount of money on a juicer honestly for your first juicer i think that a hundred dollars is probably a good price like there are so many juicers on the market that you can get for a decent amount of money that will do the exact same thing as the next juicer or the juicer that may cost $3.99. So definitely try an inexpensive version of what you are looking for first. Now, we're gonna start with types of juicers. So that is one thing that I think is important to know before you purchase a juicer. What type of juicer are you looking for? So there are three types of juicers that we're gonna talk about. One is a centrifugal juicer. One is a masticating juicer, and one is a cold hydraulic press juicer. So centrifugal juicers, there are so many brands, so many on the market. Literally, you can go to Target, Kohl's, Walmart, Amazon, and you can find a centrifugal juicer. They are very inexpensive. I think like Bed Bath & Beyond has a sale going on right now where they are like 50% off. Now, a, key, a couple key points. Centrifugal juicers juice produce and fruits by, um, a, by using a, like a, a blade. Let's just say for layman's term, the blade moves in a centrifugal force at a very high rate. In other words, it chops up the juice really fast, okay? It chops up the produce and the fruits really fast and it extracts the juice, okay? So with that being said, because it's going at such a high RPM rate per minute, you're extracting juice literally probably in less than a minute. Depending on what, your ju what you're juicing and how much you're juicing, less than a minute. With the high rate force and um, the heat that it produces from moving that fast, you can oxidize your juice a lot quicker and you break down the nutrients at a quicker rate. Now, does that really matter? It depends. It depends on what you're looking for. Are you going to juice and drink the juice right away? If so, then it probably doesn't matter at all. So just really quick to run through an overview of centrifugal juicers. They are very accessible. They juice very quickly. They are typically inexpensive. Now let's talk about masticating juicers. Masticating juicers are up and coming. There are a lot more brands coming out with masticating juicers. Um, they tend to run a little higher in price than centrifugal juicers, but you can find an affordable masticating juicers if you're looking in the right place. So definitely check Amazon, definitely check some other third party retail stores. Are you done? One great thing about masticating juicers, they tend to juice at a slower rate. So they extract a little more juice than you would get normally from a centrifugal juicer. We know fruits and vegetables tend to be a little pricey. So if you want to extract the most out of your fruits and vegetables, masticating juicers are probably a better option than centrifugal juicers. Another thing that is great about masticating juicers 
they break the nutrients in the juice break down at a slower rate and they don't oxidize as quickly as centrifugal juicers a masticating juicer is good for those who want a bulk juice or they're good for people who want a higher yield of juice so if i'm comparing the two if i'm comparing a centrifugal juicer and a masticating juicer the only difference is the rate that the nutrients break down and the amount of juice that you extract from your fruits and vegetables. And then our last juicer that we're gonna, uh, juicer type that we're gonna talk about is the cold pressed hydraulic juicer. These are for the professionals, okay? This juicer, it's the big gun. They literally range like the cheapest I've seen is like $1,200. And the most expensive one I've seen is like four grand. And I'm sure there are some that are higher than that in price. No pulp because it literally just takes the produce or takes the fruit and it presses it. It presses it with the hydraulic system to extract all the juice. No pulp, no foam. This is supposed to have the highest juicing yield, the highest nutrition or the highest amount of nutrients. It's the bomb, okay? It's a really good investment for those who are committed to juicing, for those who want all of the nutrients and benefits from juicing. It's, it's, a, good, it's a good investment. When looking for a juicer, it is a very per personal experience. Figure out what it is you're looking for. Figure out what is important to you. Just some quick things to think about is size, um, so for me, I live in an apartment. I don't have that much counter space. I want a juicer that is smaller, horizontal, that does not take up too much space. So think about stuff like that. Think about the size of the shoot. So the part that you actually put the, the fruits and vegetables in. If you don't want to do prep work, if you don't want to cut up your fruits and vegetables, look for a juicer that has a, that has a larger shoot. Um, another thing to keep in mind is cleaning. Some juicers are hard to clean because they have like 85 different parts. So if you don't feel like cleaning 85 different parts, find you a juicer that is more compact with less parts and less pieces, or that is just easier to clean, easier to get rid of the, the remains, and easier to kind of get in the crevices because we don't want nasty buildup. Ugh, that's like bacteria central. But anyways, so look for certain things like that. Figure out those little things that you want, those little things that you may not see in a description. Um, and if you have any questions, if you have any thoughts, ideas, any suggestions, please leave them in the comments. Um, like I said, I am not going to tell you what juicer to buy. There are so many juicers on the market there are so many websites that that tell you the highest ranking juicer. Um, there's too much. There's so much for me to break down and say one thing that I recommend for you. I can recommend a Nutribullet because that's what I personally use. I can recommend something because I may have done a little more research on it. Um, but like I said, that's because I know what I want. I know what I'm looking for. Read reviews read comments um i read the negative reviews because everybody can say great juicer this juice is awesome i love this juicer everybody can say that like 17 million times but that's not telling me anything about the juicer so i read the negative comments to see what the people are saying to see what is bad about this particular juicer if you are seeing the same consistent thing being said on a one-star review most likely that is a problem or most likely it exists so if it is something that you can live with so for instance the negative reviews i saw about the nutribullet online was um the pulp the remaining pulp that you dispose was wet that means that it's not juicy it's not extracting all of the juice from the pulp I get that. It's a centrifugal juicer. We know that centrifugal juicers don't have the highest 
yield of juice. They don't extract the most amount of juice. We know these things, so that didn't necessarily bother me. But like I said, if that is what you are looking for in a juicer, if that is what you are looking for in a juicer, that may be something you want to pass up. That may be a particular juicer or brand that you are not interested in. So with that being said, guys, definitely do some research. Definitely jot down the things that you are looking for in a juicer and use that to make the best decision for you. Also, I'm giving away a juicer, but you got to follow me on Instagram to find out the details and I'll be posting them soon. I just ordered it, so I'm waiting on it to ship. So thank you for watching. I'm so happy to have all of your support. I love you guys. Please like, subscribe, and comment on this video. And have a great day. Happy juicing for all my juices. My juices. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> oh, shit.